Okay, so we had a homework assignment on Discord. I don't know if everyone got to see it, but the homework assignment was pretty much like, what are the games that you have played, like the franchises and all that? They're all listed on Discord if you haven't seen it. I'm pretty sure most people who have seen it, it's been all over Twitter for a while. <laughs> Hopefully everyone has done it. Uh, it's okay. It doesn't matter if you haven't done it, really. It's just something I wanted to do for fun. There we go. So yes, this is the homework assignment. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up with PlayStation and Nintendo, so those are mostly going to be stuff that I'm going to be playing a whole lot. I, I usually stick to those two companies when it comes to my video games. Every once in a while, I might branch out to other things. Of, of course, like the PC or Xbox, if they ever have anything that catches my attention. You did your homework? That's good to hear. All right, so Mario Bros, who has not played Mario? Who hasn't played Mario? That's like an easy take right there. Easy money. 1,000 push-ups? You gotta be kidding me. 1,000 push-ups? I don't even think our limit can even get to that point. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, freaking love the Zelda series, so yes. Pokemon, yeah, I used to really love the Pokemon series. I've never played the Warcraft. Like World of Warcraft, I've never played it. Any of the regular Warcraft games, I've never played those either. Elder Scrolls, yep. Skyrim was huge. Fallout, I played Fallout 4, but I haven't played the others. Uh, Doom. Yeah, I used to really like that on the PC back in the day. Of course, who does? I mean, I'm not gonna say anything. There are some people who doesn't like it, but I freaking love the Kingdom Hearts series. Duh, that's gonna be an automatic right there. Crash Bandicoot was my ish growing up. Same with Donkey Kong. Same with Tekken. I've never played Borderlands before. Never played Borderlands. Um, I've heard from some people that said like the Borderland games are actually really, really fun if you take the time to do those and you, you will enjoy it, but um, I've never played them. What's Mario? Well, it's some Italian guy who just happens to be a plumber, but for some weird reason, a princess just always gets captured by a turtle and that turtle is just really, really weird for some weird reason. That's Mario for you. In the most vague way possible. Oh, <laughs> really? You only played the first one, Dine, and I remember you actually playing that. <laughs> but um, definitely play the second one, Dine. You gotta get around to playing the second one. The second one is like one of the best of all time, really right there. In terms of like the Kingdom Hearts series, I, I can't state that for the game community or anything. I know some people have their opinions on the, the Kingdom Hearts series. I love it. I think it's one of the best games of all time, but you know, it is what it is. But that could be a biased take right there because I am a huge fan of the series. Sims, uh, yeah, me and a good friend used to play that a whole lot back in the day. Dead Space, I've played the first one and they're doing a remake of the first one and I've been wanting to play that for some time. Where's Xenoblade on this list? Uh, let's see, is Xenoblade not in here? Maybe they got the Xeno games. Do they have the Xeno games? Because usually people put the Xeno games all on them. Oh, wow. They don't have any of the Xeno games on here. That's actually interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Zenato, why isn't the Xeno games on there? You convinced she enjoys being kidnapped? <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that like a parody? Like, I could swear that I've seen somewhere that there's like a parody of Princess Peach loves being captured for some really weird reason and it's almost like her thing it's strange like i remember seeing something about that i'm gonna have to find it real quick for you guys or something if i ever do you didn't know about the weird turtle guy oh man wait until i tell you about the weird turtle guy so the, his name is uh his name is broser and uh broser for some reason just loves to capture blonde girls every once in a while maybe a nice brunette but he, he mostly goes for that blonde girl with a pink dress and I, I don't know Broser is just really weird breath of fire uh i've never played the breath of fire games i've heard about them really i think the xeno games are they are popular but i just don't think they're getting a lot of love like they should really i, I think the xeno games need more love 
considering. I mean, it feels like they're starting to get more love in recent times, but uh, it's just been a while for real. <laughs> you love the blonde girls? <laughs> oh, man. Well, you can join Brozer in his quest to capturing blonde girls. Uh, Animal Crossing. I tried Animal Crossing for the first time during 2020, and I freaking loved it. Freaking loved it. I need to put in more time into that game, though. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons was my first Animal Crossing game, and I think it was phenomenal. Loved it. Fable, I wish they can bring this series back. I don't know what Xbox is doing with the Fable series. But they really need to bring it back at some point, really. Uh, I would love to do that. Contra, come on. We were just playing a beat em up last night, which is uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Whenever I was talking about how Contra was extremely difficult, <laughs> but I love the Contra games. They're so good. Playground's working on a new Fable? Really? So the people who announced the Fable game, what was that like? Five years ago? Because it's been some time since they announced Fable. I just haven't heard much of anything from it. Is it made, being made by Playground? They are the developers. Yeah, it's been a long time since that's been announced and I haven't seen anything of it in a while. It makes me think of, what was it, Scalebound? Like Scalebound was like one game I was really looking forward to and then like all of a sudden they canceled it. And I feel like Fable might end up being in that same boat where they might end up just canceling it, which I hope not. Team Fortress, never played it. Punch-Out, yes. Saints Row, I've never played the Saints Row games before. I, I actually never have played them. Um, I've seen a lot of stuff of them, but just never have. Jack and Daxter, I played the first two. I didn't play the third one. I think they were getting way too edgy with the Jack and Daxter games. You doubt they will cancel uh, Fable? Well, that, that's a fair, you know, it's fair to say because maybe they just want to go quiet on it because a lot of times I know that that was around the time that developers were announcing games and then they will go quiet until it's almost close to releasing. Kind of like what we're doing right now, which is the best approach in our gaming industry is really just be like, hey, this is our game that we're currently working on. We're just going to leave it at that and we'll come back at you later. I actually like that approach a lot. Guilty Gear. Uh, I've tried a demo of one of the, I don't think it's the newest one. It's the one that was out before the newest one. So I don't know if that counts. I'll put a question mark there. <laughs> question mark there. But I do want to play Guilty Gear at some point. It looks really fun. StarCraft, no, I never played StarCraft. Nier, heck yeah, I love Nier. Nier is, mm, mm, freaking love the Nier games. Warhammer, I have never played Warhammer. I've seen some stuff of it. It seems interesting, just haven't really tried it. Final Fantasy, what's a Final Fantasy? I've never played that game before. Just kidding. What am I well known for? It's Final Fantasy, of course. Ugh. Pikmin, I was just talking about this on the Nintendo Direct never played a Pikmin game before. Tales of? Yes. I was telling Jag <laughs> back when, uh, I think this was when uh, me and Jag first got to meet each other on stream and all that. Uh, telling him about like the Tales series and how great it is. And I just loved the whole idea that he went to go play Tales of Arise. And I went to go play Tales of Arise, and we were kind of playing it at the same time a little bit, but he finished way before me, of course. Man, yeah, the Tales series is so good, too. It's so good. If you haven't played the Tales games, definitely play it. Especially, like, Arise. I think Arise, Bazaria, and Grace are probably my most favorite ones. If only the first one has been Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, if the first one was... <laughs> What's a freaking Final Fantasy? Yeah, I had all my theories. That was so fun, dude. Like, uh, I, I really want to play another game like that that just makes me have more theories. Like, I did it with Xenoblade. I had a lot of theories with Xenoblades. I had a lot of theories with uh, uh, Endwalker when that was coming out. And uh, I, I want more games that are really just testing uh, my theory crafting. Uh, I'm thinking this is like... 
the mana series of mana i don't know could this be the mana series like trials of mana um tales of mana and all that i don't know yeah it's the mana series okay so i have to put a question mark for this one because i remember playing like a small tidbit of it way back then i haven't really got to play it as much so i'm not gonna really say that it counts but i have like tried a little bit of it it's the same thing with the guilty gear stuff you know what i mean metal gear so here's something to say i used to really really love the metal gear series the metal gear series was like something that i was huge on back in the day give me metal gear solid bam amazing i can always go back to metal gear solid the second one was all right I think it wasn't as good as the first one. I really enjoyed the third one. The third one was great. And I am one of the few people who actually love Metal Gear Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid 4 was freaking amazing. Metal Gear Solid 5 though. <sighs> Metal Gear Solid 5 was a huge disappointment for me. Like I, I really do wish that they were able to finish chapter three, which was the rest of the game. It's just so disappointing that they never got to finish it all. Uh, and then of course, Metal Gear Rising is great. Metal Gear Rising is freaking amazing. God of War, my first God of War game was actually God of War 2018. That was my first God of War game and I loved it. And I really wanna play Ragnarok at some point. What the heck is a Tetris? Who's play, what is a Tetris? Can anybody tell me what Tetris is? I have never played a Tetris game before. Like, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, did I even pronounce that right? Is it Titris or Tatris? Monatris? <laughs> what is this? I'm just kidding. Who hasn't played freaking Tetris? Everyone in their grandma has played that game. If you've never played a Tetris game, then how are you even playing video games? Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption 2 was my first Red Dead game. I did not play the second. I'm uh, not the second one. I did not play the first one. I played the second one. Enjoyed it. Thought the story was great. Uh, I didn't play the first one. Didn't really catch my attention. I'm not too big on the GTA games. Uh, Street Fighter. Yes, I love Street Fighter. Chrono series. Yes. Classic. Classic. Yes. Ratchet and Clank. Call of Duty. Yeah, I feel like everyone's played at least one Call of Duty. At least one. You know. I Unless you're one of the lucky few people who've never played any of the Call of Duty games, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I played a couple Call of Duty games. As a matter of fact, there's some cases where, like, you know, a good Call of Duty game is a nice way to just, you know, ease the rest of the night. Whenever I'm just like, well, I don't want to jump into a huge RPG, which is mostly what I play. All I play is RPGs. And then like there's times where I'm like, well, I want something a little bit more engaging, not less engaging where there's like puzzles to it. So then I'm like, all right, well, you know what? What's next? Maybe we can play like an arcade game. A good arcade game is Call of Duty, really. Don't even play just to try to win and all that. Just play for fun. And that's when you will be stress-free, when you start wanting to play for fun. Really, Jag? You're one of the few people who've never played Call of Duty? Wow. I definitely have to give you a round of applause for that one. Applause for that one. Because, like, that's amazing. That's actually amazing. I feel like everyone I know, even people who hate the Call of Duty series, has at least played one. Now, I have nothing against the Call of Duty series. Nothing against it. I really just find them as, you know, decent arcade games. That's about it. Age of Empires, yes. I played one of them once before. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. I thought they were all right. Need for Speed? Heck yeah. I think I remember telling Dine and Tashi this one stream. There was one time that someone did a fun fact and then they wanted to know like some of the games I love to play. So you all know when it comes to genres, I love JRPGs. I love horror games. I definitely love racing games. Need for Speed is one of those. Now, of course, I'm more heavily towards the first two. The first two are kind of like part of my identity. JRPGs and horror games are part of my identity. I love playing those games. 
But uh, when it comes to uh, racing games, that's kind of like an old school favorite of mine that I used to do with like my brothers who play racing games. It was fun, you know. Uh, Need for Speed was always like a nice little throwback that I can come back to. Harvest Moon, heck yeah. I love the Harvest Moon games. Um, I was really excited that, what was that game that came out? No, not Rune Factory. I never played the Rune Factory games actually. Stardew Valley, there we go. Yeah, Stardew Valley. I was so happy that Stardew Valley came out because I was like, oh, this reminds me so much of Harvest Moon. I, I played a little bit of it, not a whole lot of it. I think I was trying to play it with my friends because we were gonna do co-op and um, it took a while before co-op came out. Uh, Prince of Persia, I've actually never played the Prince of Persia games. Um, I've heard a lot about them, but never played them. I think there's a remake coming out soon. So maybe whenever the remake comes out, I can give it a try. Max Payne, yeah. Max Payne is like a classic. It's a really good one. Ninja Gaiden, uh, Souls games before Souls games. These games are extremely hard to play. What's a Persona? I've never played Persona before, just kidding. I freaking love the Persona series. The Persona series is so good. So freaking good. Bayonetta, I love Bayonetta. Uh, Medal of Honor, yes. That's uh, another game on the Call of Duty landmark. You never played a Persona game before? Oh, oh, Jag, dude. If you love JRPGs and you love like character development and all that, Play her zone. Nah. Seriously, play it. I think you will really love it. Uh, my most favorite one is Persona 5 Royal. Uh, I know some people are usually like, oh, that's just because it's the newest one out. No, I, I love the characters of Persona 5. I used to be a huge, huge Persona 4 uh, stan. And I was like, there's no way Persona 5 is going to be better than Persona 4. No way. No way. It's impossible then five came out and I was like oh yeah I freaking love Persona 5. If I say which one to start out with I say start out with either Persona 4 Golden or Persona 5 Royal. Either one of those is fine to start out with and then you can go back and play the other ones. But if you really want to go OG I say play Persona 2 if you really want to go OG. But the thing is Persona 4 and 5 played well 3, 4, and 5 played drastically different from one and two. Dead or Alive, yes. Very weird game with anime waifus um, that are fighting one another. Deus Ex, no. I was wanting to give it a try at some point, but I never have. Drakengard, yes. I freaking like the Nier games, and the reason why I got into Nier was because of Drakengard. But really, only Drakengard 3 is good. Dragon Quest, yes. Um, but I do want to give Dragon Quest 11 at some point. I, I do have Dragon Quest XI on the Switch, and I heard XI is like freaking amazing, and I want to play it at some point. It's in my backlog, uh, maybe someday whenever I get to it, but uh, currently right now it's just like sitting there. So one of my good friends, we connected with Halo. One of my closest best friends, uh, we connected with Halo, Star Wars, and uh, Metroid. That was like our game. He loves everything space, and which is pretty understandable. Some of the things that we connected with was a lot of the space-based games like Metroid, Halo, and Star Wars. I like those three things. He liked those three things. We became best friends. <laughs> uh, GTA, yes. I played a couple of GTAs. San Andreas is still the best one in my opinion. Diablo, yes. I played Diablo 1 and 2. Did not play three. I heard four is coming out pretty soon. Assassin's Creed, I played two Assassin's Creed games. Couldn't get into it. Metroid, yes, I freaking love the Metroid series. Bioshock, another great series. Mass Effect, I have never played Mass Effect before, but I do have the games. I have the remastered games. Uh, I have not played it, I don't know. I, I, I will give it a try at some point. Mm, I don't think it's like a top priority for me though. Star Fox, yes, do a barrel roll. The Last of Us, I love the first one. Haven't played the second one because I heard a lot of things about it and I don't know. I kind of just want to stick with the first one currently right now. Maybe I'll give it a try at some point in the future. 
Fire Emblem. Tasha, you tell me to try Fire Emblem. I'm going to give Fire Emblem a try at some point. I promise all of you, I will give Fire Emblem a try at some point in the future. <laughs> right now, I'm just like, uh, it's not really on my top priority list, but I do want to at some point. I heard amazing things about Three Houses. I'm hearing some good things about Engage. So who knows? Maybe at some point I will get to it. But currently right now on this list, it's going to be blank. Sorry. <laughs> Far Cry. Uh, I, th I enjoyed the third one. That was the only one I played. Resident Evil. I freaking love the Resident Evil series. Come on. I love horror games. Resident Evil is good. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yes. Gran Turismo. Yeah. These games are so good. Like I said, I like racing games. Uh, Rayman. I played a couple of Raymans, but I wouldn't say they're my cup of tea. Castlevania, yes. Metrovania, I love them. Soul Calibur is another good one. I am playing currently my first SMT game. Currently, I'm playing my very first SMT game, and I'm actually really enjoying it. It's really good. Like, a game that I can just play for a good 30 minutes to an hour when I have time on my Switch. I pick it up and I'm enjoying a lot of it. The story is actually really good. SMT5 is my first uh, SMT game and I think it's great. Uh, Yakuza, I never played it, but I do want to get to it at some point. I really want to get to this at some point. Uh, Command and Conquer, I never played it. Got your homework ready and checked. Oh, are you guys posting your homework on Discord? Because if you got your homework turned in, nice. I will check it out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Saga games, I don't know anything about the Saga games. Total War, never played Total War. Fantasy Star, I just tried my first Fantasy Star game the other day. Fantasy Star Online. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I do want to play a little bit more of it. Now, this is a series I want to come back on. Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve needs to come back. Please. I beg Square, please. If there is any franchise, well, I do want the Chrono franchise to come back too. But Parasite Eve, I will do anything to have the Parasite Eve series comes back and maybe like uh, reimagined. Because of course the first one is great. The second one's all right. The third one was a huge disappointment, but I will love for Parasite Eve to come back. The first one, just so you know, has Yoko Shimomura music in it, so I'm a little biased on that. Mortal Kombat! Yeah, that was like the game back in the day. Mega Man? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Freaking love Mega Man. Some of my most favorite Mega Man games will have to be the Battle Network ones and the Legend games. And I would say Zero. Zero is another good one that I really enjoy as well. The Uncharted series is really good. If you never played Uncharted, I definitely recommend it. It's really good. Tomb Raider is really good too. That's a classic. Portal, of course. Come on. Portal is like, if you have a PC, then you have to play Portal. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I, I, I like Sonic. Used to be a really big favorite of mine back in the day. Uh, the Witcher. I played The Witcher 3 back when that came out. Um, I thought it was okay. Half-Life is really good. I love that. Spiral is my jam. Dark Souls. <laughs> I like the Dark Souls games sometimes. Sometimes. I'll just say Souls games in general. I I played a few of them. I think they're pretty good. I, I, I will count them. Definitely count them. Uh, Devil May Cry. I freaking love the Devil May Cry games. Devil May Cry is so good. So freaking good. I think the fifth one is my most favorite one, to be honest. Let's see. Silent Hill is a good one. Hitman's another good one. Never played Dragon Age. Gears of War. Never played it. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. The first one's really good. I could care less about its sequels. Counter Strike. A little bit of it. Worms. I never played Worms. Shadow Hearts. Ooh. Shadow Hearts is a classic. Oh my gosh, dude. Have any of y'all ever heard of Shadow Hearts before? I really want to know in the chat 
if anyone has ever heard of the Shadow Heart series. Because if you haven't, then boy, boy, you gotta play them. So, a quick thing to say about the Shadow Heart series. If you like JRPGs that has like a very dark undertone to it, then like you will enjoy Shadow Hearts. Like Shadow Hearts is so good, man. The first one, in my opinion, is the best one. Uh, the second one is pretty good as well. The second one, it just builds on a little bit more of what the first one was, but I think they kind of toned down a little bit of the dark gothic horror that's in it. Now, I'm not saying horror as in like a horror game. You're not gonna be scared playing these games. I promise you that. The only thing is, is that like, it's very dark in tone of its game and its story and all that. I'm hearing there's a spiritual successor that's getting ready to come out because the series kind of died out after the third one came out. The third one drastically changed the series. It hasn't gone back to what it was. As far as like the Shadow Hearts games goes, like, yeah. I, I, I say definitely watch like a video essay on the Shadow Hearts series. Definitely do. Man, I would just love if they had like a re-release of these games, at least the first one. At least the first one. I will love a re-release of it. But dude, it, it, to me, this is like a, a really good classic that needs to come back. And I'm hoping that the spiritual successor that's uh, being created by the original creator of the series is actually going to do well with it. I really do hope so. But yeah, the Shadow Heart series, turn-based JRPG with uh, some gothic horror elements in it that... It's a lot different than your typical JRPG, really. A lot different. Bomberman! Bomberman 64, the second attack, is one of my favorite games. And I miss that game. I really do hope that Nintendo brings that game back in the future. Never played Monster Hunter, Shinmu. I think we talked about Shinmu the other day. Um, gosh, man, I, re I really wish Shinmu was able to finish his story. I really do wish Shinmu was able to finish his story. It's very unfortunate that they never got to finish it. And it's just like cut in limbo right now. Um, I'm really do hoping one day they will. I know there's an anime that's coming out with it. I think it's already out. Um, so maybe they can finish the story with the anime. But it would be great. Yes, they did make a third one. And the third one, it made very, very small story progression. It felt like there was very little to almost no story progression in the third one. Like, for a lot of people who played Shinmu 3, who are huge fans of Shinmu, um, you will hear from all of them saying that it was a huge disappointment. Because, uh, for one, the gameplay felt very bare minimum to what the first two games were. And then the story didn't really progress as far as we all was wanting it to be. And it's just, it's a disappointment, to be honest. I'm hearing rumors that they're trying to do a fourth one. Maybe the fourth one could redeem itself. But to be honest, like, this series was supposed to be 10 games, I think. And I think they should just really try their best to condense it down. Condense it down to at least, like, four or five games at this rate. Because it's ridiculous if you're going to keep on trying to make small progress in these games. Chinmu 1 and 2 were great. 3, I wish it was better. Watch Dogs. I thought Watch Dogs was not my cup of tea. Dine, you actually enjoyed Chinmu 3? I mean, I wouldn't say it was like super disappointing. I think the best thing that I enjoyed about Chinmu 3 was mostly Shinwa. Being able to uh, do a lot of things with her. Like there was an affinity system in the first half of the game that if you are pretty much like how Persona does, if you spend time with your characters and all that, your affinity grows closer and stronger with them and then you get special cutscenes and special moments with characters. And I think having that affinity system with Shinwa in Shinmu 3 was actually excellent. And that was one of the things I really enjoyed. I really wish that we could have got a little bit more of it, 
especially with uh, some more of the characters in the game. Uh, Dishonored, I'd never played Dishonored before and I've never played Wild Arms. I've heard about how great Wild Arms is, but I just never got around to it. So my score is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh shoot, did I just lose count? Oh my God, <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seventy freaking eight. Not bad. You had eighty-nine dying? Wow, that's actually great. That's actually great. <laughs> Dang. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be this high for real. And of course, this is a lot of franchises for real, so only time could tell on those things. But that was fun. I, I literally saw that um, not too long ago. It was I, I saw it scrolling through Twitter while I was eating dinner. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. This would be fun to do with everybody. And that's when I posted on Discord and I was like, all right, homework assignment. Homework assignment for everybody. We're doing this right now. <laughs> oh, write the number of each column. Yeah, I could have done that. Oh shoot, Dying, you are so smart. I should have done that. Yeah, oh, that's what I should have done. Yeah. <laughs> Just literally count the ones that um, I didn't mark. Could have been easy like that, of course. I don't really expect everyone to have like a, a huge wide variety in their game catalog because you know, everyone have their, their niches or something they go to. I just like to dive into a bunch of different games. I love video games and I like trying things new. It's the life of an entrepreneur. You have to be able to try new things. So um, to grade everybody on their game varieties, you all pass. Yay, yay, you pass, pass. Like in order to pass, all you need to do is at least play Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> if you at least play those two, you are able to pass. Biasness, of course. <laughs> Jag, you <laughs> you put that in the chat right at the perfect time. Right at the perfect time, my dude. <laughs> definitely bias. Oh, definitely bias.